Hello everybody, um, I just want to do a quick video showing um, some of the quick differences between the Resole Morpher and the Dino Fury Morpher uh, Resole Changer um, and some of the hidden, well not hidden, but the sounds we haven't gotten keys for yet in the um, Dino Fury Morpher. Um, it uses the same kind of a pin system that um, the uh, Beast Morphers one used, where I'm assuming different pin patterns are going to activate the different sounds. So using that, you can kind of hit some of the pins inside the morpher and get some sounds we haven't heard yet. So um, just quickly, the keys, they're very different. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this is basically a holographic sticker on a thin piece of plastic with a hollow face, like it, it's very thin. Now maybe the, the ones that come with the figures will be a little nicer, but it's a little odd that like the shape isn't even the same, like this part. Um, so you end up with a completely different profile when it's in the morpher, but whatever. Um, and there's a little ring there, so you can probably wear it as a necklace or something. But uh, that's that. Um, or anybody asks, though they don't really fit into each other's things. I mean, technically, I guess this can fit in there, but it's not going to activate anything. And uh, the opening on the Tiny Fury one is very small, so there's no way that's going to fit in there. So, um, but overall, Morphers together, it's actually surprising for how close they are in size. I mean, we've had way worse um, design-wise, like they even got the damage on the mask similar. The color, as you can see, is very similar. So, that's pretty nice. Um, Thickness-wise, the Dino Fury one's a little fatter. Um, the, uh, with the cloth brace there. It's really small. doesn't really fit me, but it'd be easy to replace with another one. Um, so just look-wise, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, biggest difference is the clear piece on here is just an empty piece here. Um, and we get the nice metallic uh, red paint on the Japanese one where this is going to make sound when I move this, but uh, oh, I guess I have it off. Um, this one's kind of just a flat red so that's one big difference. This is a lot harder to turn around than, than this one. Is. So I guess this can click easily. Um, so just to do a quick comparison, um, the way this would work is we've got that makes a little jingle. Healing. Standby sound. And the only difference you get with the keys is when you hit this button, it says different things. So, that's that. So, this one, there is an on and off button. Move it all the way up. The middle is try me. So, no sound when you turn it on. Which is a little weird. Um, but, you just hit this. It lights up, which is different. So, this one was just a... Solid red, this is a clear red with light. There's a few different sounds. So the the main thing with this is basically all there are no speech sounds, which is actually good considering the generic, you know, bad voice actor sounds that we got on the Beast Morpher one. This one, it's just different dinosaur sounds and sound effects and different music. So it's almost kind of like the the Hasbro um Dragon Dagger, where it was very music-based, like it had the rock theme and the other theme, but this, it's all different kinds of little tunes, so. I like that the default is, like, rock music. It's very Mighty Morphin. So basically, when you move this around, there's voice, or um, motion sounds, like kind of cutting sounds. So when you spin this, you'll get a few different tunes.
and you just kind of loop for a while and stop and as you keep going. It doesn't really matter where you stop it, like there isn't a click here like there is in the Japanese one. You can keep doing the motion sounds during the music. The position of this doesn't seem to really matter. It's just do you turn if you turn it once it sets it off. So it's not like this one where where you land it, it it makes a difference. So basically put the key in. You get a little click sound when you take it out. A little click sound. Another thing, if you hold this down, it's kind of a turn off sound. You turn it back on. Get a little click so that's the only really on off sound all right so that's the same that does, that does not change all that's a little different and now the motion sound is roaring t-rex sound I think. Same tune, no matter how you do it. So then it just kind of stops. So now, all the motion sounds are T Rex and Chumps. So, let's get to the fun part. So I'm just using a little metal ruler here to try to hit the pins that are in there. Let me try to see if I can light that up a little better. So down inside there, there you can kind of see it. There's three rows of pins. So if you push those in a circle, I have it there. All right, so that was kind of a spark sound. I'm, I have not watched Re Soldier in a while, so I can't remember who, which thing does sparks. But um, now the movement sounds different. And if we move this, we'll get different music. Kind of like a Night Rider sound sounding song. Same, so I don't think anything changes what that does. Take it out, you get the key sound again. Now I'm going to use just a thin tip here so I can try to just hit one or two. It's trial and error. So that's weird. We have a different rock song. Disco. <laughs> now it's kind of roaring. So interesting. Uh, let's see. At one point, I got a, a fire sound that sounded like Dime Volcano, so I'm going to try to get that again. Oh, oh, there we go. So it's like a flame burst.
So far I'm just getting those three. There's there's a few there, but it's it's difficult to get them all. I have to make like a 3D printed key or something. Give one more try. See if doing this a little different does anything. Yeah, there's not really a way to put this in crooked or something, like it's pretty tight, so, yeah. So, there's at least uh, three hidden sounds. So, I mean, for 20 bucks, it's a pretty decent marker. It's nice that it doesn't have annoying, Go Power Rangers! Yeah! Kind of generic voice acting sounds. Um, you know, having different sound effects for the different keys is you know, basically the equivalent of what this does. Uh, plus, it has the motion sounds that are different, so technically this does more than this. Uh, the keys are just crappier, so... Um, if you liked Rio Soldier and you think you're gonna like Dino Fury, I'd say pick it up, especially just for 20 bucks. I don't know how many keys I'll end up getting, but those figures are really nice, and they're better than any of the Japanese ones that have come out, so I'll probably end up getting more than I should. So, uh, thanks for watching. That's the uh, Down of Fury Norfer.